tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. No, I thought not. It's an old story the Jedi could tell you. Eagles have traded up to the number two spot from Cleveland. The Philadelphia Eagles, did Uncle Colin predict this? Did Uncle Colin predict this? Yes, I did, baby. The Eagles love Jared Goff and would happily take him if he fell to them at number two. They do not expect that to happen. They expect it to be Carson Wentz. Carson, Howie Roseman, how we doing, bud? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. You ready to be an Eagle? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're really excited to get you, man. It's going to be great. We're going to have a lot of fun. Most definitely. I'm excited. Enjoy the moment with your family. Can't wait to see you when you get here. Carson. Coach, what's going on? How you doing, man? Doing great. You doing, doing great? great? You, uh, you seem yes, like sir. you're a little calm through all this. How you, you doing? Be. Yeah, you got to be, right? I'm good. I'm hey. Good. How, uh, how, how does, uh, how's it feel to be an Eagle? Feels terrific. But we start with Sam Bradford, who signed a lucrative two-year deal with Philadelphia before the season was expected to be the team's starting quarterback. But now he is no longer an Eagle. The Vikings acquired Bradford in a trade with the Eagles on Saturday. Minnesota was in dire need for a quarterback after Teddy Bridgewater went down with a torn ACL in practice last week. Breaking news here on Sports Center. We knew it was coming. Now it's official. Carson Wentz will officially be the week one starter for the Eagles this weekend. And so here comes Carson Wentz. Wentz. Bob Lisbon falls side. Again, caught by Zach Ertz. Rose, Rose, this side of the field, complete to Brent Seller. Inside the 40. Not play this drive. Went. End zone. Caught. Touchdown. Jordan Matthews. The first touchdown pass of his young career was on the money.
Quickly on third and four, and that's caught. Cut. Patriots running back LeGarrette Blount has signed a one-year deal with the Eagles. So let's talk about your squad. You already got some offensive weapons, right? Alshon Jeffrey next year, Torrey yep. Smith, and now uh, showing up that defense, defensive end Derek Barnett you yep. took last night. Yep. How are you feeling about your squad? Uh, it's exciting. It's yeah? exciting time. You know, with Alshon and, and Torrey, um, everyone keeps asking about them, but obviously on the field, they, they've, they've proven themselves, mm -hmm. and some people think Torrey's lost a step. I've, I've seen it now the last two weeks. He, he can fly. He can still fly. How are you feeling about your offense right now, considering the weapons that you have and having this year of experience under your belt? Yeah, very excited. You know, obviously adding the pieces was huge, um, but, but then also just getting a whole year under my belt. Mm -hmm. You know, a whole year under my belt, not just myself, but everyone in that offense. You know, it was all new offense for everybody. I only had eight days for pair, you know, last year with the one, so just kind of thrown into the fire a little bit. So getting this whole offseason, getting the time to prepare, um, get, the, get the timing and everything, it'll be, it'll be huge. And I have high expectations, high expectations for us. You don't know the power of the dark side. you need to be talking about. You need to step back and recognize that Carson Wentz has arrived and he is playing well. He's not Donovan yet, but he's rolling. He's rolling in the right way.